Now, your WLKY weather with Chief Meteorologist Jay Cardosi. I, I hear the brisket is absolutely phenomenal. It's you ever worth had it? it. It's worth it. I've had the brisket, Jay. <laughs> it's, it's, it's worth it. All right, we're going to have to check. We should take a day off work and head down there and spend the day at Bucky's. I like it. <laughs> I like it. <laughs> All right, hey, beautiful weather on this Monday. Bright sunshine, humidity nice and low. It's been a wonderful day as far as that goes. It's 91 degrees, still a warm day, but again, with that low humidity, feels a whole lot better, doesn't it? A morning start of 71, no rainfall. Mm, that's what hurts. We need the water, uh, but there will be chances for scattered showers and storms moving back in starting late, late tomorrow and peaking on Wednesday. More on that in just a bit. Right now, bright sun, 91 degrees in town. The humidity nice and low. I've been talking about the dew point temperature. Seems like forever. And again, whenever you see it in the 50s this time of year or lower, it just feels wonderful outside. Once it creeps into the 60s and even the 70s, that's when you start to get back into the steam bath. Guess what's going to happen tomorrow? Some of that higher humidity will try to make a return by afternoon. Right now, though, a northeast breeze, 7 miles per hour. We have upper 80s to near 90 degrees, top to bottom west to east across the viewing area late on this Monday afternoon, early evening. And over the next 12 hours or so, we'll see our low 90s transition into the upper 70s and low 80s before midnight. And then as we head towards tomorrow morning, it's going to be beautiful. Clear skies, the humidity will still stay on the comfortable side tomorrow morning. Most spots will be in the 60s to near 70. Look how quiet the weather pattern is across the two-state region. It's going to stay that way through the first half of tomorrow at least, but there's energy developing up here in the western lakes, the northern plains. A little storm system is trying to form just west of Minneapolis-St. Paul, and as that continues to slowly slide east and southeast, it'll pick up some moisture and it will bring us chances for some widely scattered showers and storms as early as later tomorrow afternoon. Now again, when you wake up in the morning, it'll be dry. It's going to be beautiful. 60s for the most part to near 70, 71 degrees, a start time temperature in town. But this is where we're going to end up tomorrow, mid to late afternoon, back into the low and middle 90s. Humidity will be increasing through the day. That means your heat index will likely be in the upper 90s, possibly as high as 100. And again, you can see on the future cast, we start off dry, plenty of sunshine during the day tomorrow, and then watch what happens. At least one chance for scattered showers and storms will be arriving late tomorrow afternoon on into tomorrow night as some storms work in from the north. This is one threat. However, this is one of many chances over the next couple of days. I want to jump ahead here to 5 a.m. Wednesday morning. Not much happening, maybe a few scattered storms in southern portions of Indiana, but look what happens as we move through Wednesday morning. Another decent shot that could move through and then we'll give possibly another wave of scattered showers and storms in here on the cold front later Wednesday afternoon. So going forward, we do have chances and good chances for scattered showers and storms starting tomorrow night primarily and also into Wednesday. All right, tonight now, no rain clear. It's going to be beautiful. We'll slip back into the 80s. Detailed 12-hour forecast tomorrow, a wonderful start, and then heat and humidity gradually increasing. Mid-90s, heat index could be up around 100, and that could give rise to a few scattered late-day storms, Norman. Those chances will continue tomorrow night into Wednesday. Then we'll have a couple of dry days to wrap up the work week. This weekend, a lot of dry time. I think the best chance for storms this weekend will come at us Saturday night and early Sunday. Hopefully we keep that all comfortable for everyone out there. I hear you. Thanks, Jay. Yep. After two straight...